Good morning, Libra. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Libra, this is going to be your weekly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take our resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Libra, let's see what you got. So let's do two more. Let's do two more shuffles, and then we'll get into your reading we'll also divide up the deck see what you got for your ruins and yeah all right cool 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 all right so you have the fool card which tells me that you're ready to take a leap of faith this week or you could be wanting to take a leap of faith this week towards something that you're just unsure about it because it could be unstable and it also it could just well that's a lot of cards okay Cool, cool, cool. One more card, all right. So whatever it is that you are jumping into, it could be something that you're not really passionate about and there could just not be a stable connection there. You could be wanting to jump into a relationship, not really knowing that this person is a king of wands uh, and only you know takes action when they feel like taking action. Oh. All right, cool. cool, cool, cool. Um, you have warrior, so people are going to be seeing you as very strong, very uh secure. You may not be stable emotionally, but you may be stable physically, or you may look very stable. You have defensive, so you may be a bit defensive this week when it comes to people you care about or love. Um. And you have breakthroughs, so you will be getting the clarity that you need this week, which is awesome. Just take some time to really relax and meditate and, yeah, just go with the flow. Because it does look like there is some abundance here that you will gain from um, your knowledge and your peace and whatever it is that you are doing this week. Um, that you're going to be taking a leap towards it does look like there's going to be some sort of profit or an investment that will be made it doesn't look like you're really manifesting much in return but you're manifesting enough to where it's going to really help you prosper this also with the magician card in, re in the reverse it tells me that your crown chakra could be blocked so ways to unblock that is reiki or integrated energy therapy um mostly integrated energy therapy because they really unblock the chakras and the reiki is more of like an aura but it does heal your chakras but if you want the full extent of healing you would get integrated energy therapy anyways it doesn't look like you're afraid to move forward i feel like you are willing to take that leap of faith and do what's best for you even though in that during in that moment it may not feel what's right um but you're you're going based off your emotions not necessarily your intuition so things may be a little bit rocky this week but you know just go with the flow you will be able to handle it and whatever life throws at you you got it um it like i said it's going to be a rocky ride it's going to be a bit emotional but you got this um you know when to take action and when not to take action, which is why the King of Wands is here. So if you see something that's not good for you, you're not going to go towards it anymore. If someone tells you, oh, something's not good for you, you may not believe them until you actually see for yourself. All right. So you have the Six of Cups and the six of pentacles so that's two sixes any more sixes and then that's a synchronicity or i mean two sixes is a synchronicity if you are um you know on that level of synchronicities but most people say you know if you see three sixes then you know it's a synchronicity but anything any number that you see can be a synchronicity you can just look it up on Google, if you don't know the meaning of it, uh, 444 just popped up. But anyways, it does look like there was some, someone was taking advantage of you, maybe of your like insecurities, or they just um, 
your unstability. They know they knew that they could uh, take advantage of you because they you were vulnerable and you were willing to do anything for money, for finances, in order to really prosper in life. Um, you may have not seen this outcome in play. You may have just thought, oh, uh, I just, I need the money right now. You're just really focused on yourself and you were a bit unbalanced emotionally. So you're kind of doing whatever it take took for you to, you know, get, you know, rent or, you know, whatever it was that you needed money for, um, because you were desperate and you needed the money now and yeah it does look like there will be someone coming towards you that is a knight of cups which does intend that someone wants to come in with a cup of love but just make sure that love that cup of love is full you don't want an empty cup because if they give you an empty cup they're you know you're just gonna give you know them water and then they're going to walk away and you don't want that you want someone that's going to be there for you they you want someone that's going to be your knight in shining armor this person could have saved you in the past and that is why you're willing to do whatever it takes for them because they put themselves out there for you but now they're kind of just taking advantage of you um, of your vulnerability and it's making you feel like um, you're not worth it or you're just your emotions aren't fully intact right now all right so let's see what you got for your energy cards so like i said you're still stable you're going through a tough time right now and this is going to make you really strong even though you're not emotionally available right now you are still strong like you just gotta do some healing and you'll be all set I know it's hard to, you know, we can, you know, heal every day and we may not be the most perfect person, but as long as we love ourselves, then we will, then that's enough healing to get us through the day and to get us through the year, right? Know your worth. Understand that you are worth every penny. Alright, it's cool, cool, cool. So you have self-mastery. You could be mastering yourself this week. Um, you could be getting some healing, like I said, um, because all your chakras are really brained up in this, uh, in this card. You have love. So there could be a love offer coming in, like I was saying before, but just make sure that they are emotionally available and make sure that you are emotionally available for them. Um, Trust that everything will work out and the answers that you need will come forward. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Libra, um, <laughs> and uh, but the signs I see, I see Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, Taurus, Libra, and Capricorn. So for the chakras I see, I see solar plexus, heart chakra, and your throat chakra. So you could be communicating a lot. This could you could be talking back and forth with someone that you have romantic feelings with. Maybe they give you butterflies and they just, you know, they really open up your chakras. They make you feel loved and, you know, vulnerable, right? But just make sure they're not taking advantage of you like I was saying before. You could be dealing with two people and that could be why there's two different messages here with one sending you an offer of love and the other taking advantage of you. So um, un resonate with the message that is yours. Don't resonate with the message that's not yours because there are multiple people watching my readings. So yeah, um, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like comment and subscribe. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button and check out my other videos to see if you will resonate. Or you can hit that those videos that just popped up on the screen and uh, they will take you to another video that you may resonate with. Alright, 
So I'll see you guys next time.